Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I wanted to give you guys an explanation to the last video that I had made as far as the gigabit LTE speeds next year. So, T-Mobile is hyping this up a bit because it will make their network faster and clear up some of the congestion. But it's really not new technology. It's pretty much what they're rolling out now just next year with a new chipset so you're going to need another device they'll be able to carry your aggregate 4x4 MIMO and 3-way carrier aggregation for you to use at the same time currently it really makes no sense to spend all that money on a device just to make use of a technology that you really can't combine so with that said, if your area has 4x4 MIMO and your device can take advantage of it, it won't be able to do both. It'll just be able to either do 4x4 MIMO on just band 4 or it will be able to do 3-way carry aggregation. Now, the thing that I have to do additional research on, which is why I didn't drop a video yesterday, is which one of the technologies is more efficient. I don't know if it's 4x4 MIMO or if it's 3-way carry aggregation. It looks like to be very similar. The only difference is that the 4x4 MIMO gives you better signal reception at the, at the edge of the cell site. So if you're a little bit away from a cell site, 4x4 MIMO will be able to give you a little bit of uh, better cell reception. So, I, but I don't know if that's really worth getting a new cell phone, which then next year when they hype it up, you're going to have to get another one to take advantage to ag aggregate both technologies. So I just, I just wanted to let you guys know that before you run around, you know, buying new cell phones and, and such, such and such, you know, there's, we're limited on the, on the 4x4 MIMO anyway. You know, I have the S7, which does take advantage of the technology. So I will try to route my phone to be able to use the app. It's called Signal Network Guru to be able to determine if that cell tower has 4x4 MIMO. The app, I've seen it work. It works really well. It gives you an accurate, it gives you accurate information. So that definitely is a win-win. So I will, you know, I will, I've never rooted a phone before, so I will look into the, the negatives of rooting a phone if it breaks the, you know, the, um, the warranty, you know, or what, what else can happen to the phone. So I'll definitely look at that. But what I really want to find out is which of the technologies, excuse me, is, um, is better. If you guys, you know, if you guys have some info, of course, leave it in the comment section down below. Also, while I'm on that subject, I do appreciate all the interaction. I will get back to some of you guys here in a minute. I'm headed to the office now. But there is one that I wanted to address while I'm on this making this video. Give me a second here. Second, let me pull up the name wanted to address him while I make this video second all right all right so Tyler Idol I think that's I think that's how you say it I did see that you've said that you know in certain sections of the tower you have faster speeds than others which you know, in most cases, that's normal. The, the tower itself, the cell side, has a 360 effect. But some of the sectors could be more loaded than the others. So you could be literally across the street from a cell site and get 98 megabytes per second. But then you could, you know, you could turn left and go behind the tower and only get 10 because that sector has more users on it. So that is, you know, that's something that T-Mobile has to overcome. How they're, how they're going to do it. I don't know it's gonna be tough They're they're limited on spectrum some some markets have more spectrum than others 
but the, the the type of growth that they're currently having is really outgrowing the demand for the network so the demand is high on the network but the network team can't really keep up so it's gonna take they have to fix this over time with small sales the additional technology that they're rolling out and all the other stuff that's involved in that as well you know so definitely just wanted to you know explain that to you it would have you know writing that would have been a lot longer so I definitely just wanted to you know tell you this in this video and the other other replies that I've gotten I, I will get back to you here in about I wouldn't say about the next hour we'll be looking up some stuff for you so definitely um, stay tuned for that I got more videos coming this will be the last video for the week you know the weekend I like to enjoy with my family so definitely stay tuned for Monday I got some more stuff coming some more speed tests um, as far as the phone situations like I said I'm looking into what technology is better and I wanted to get my my viewer count up as well before I drop these reviews so that way you guys can actually take advantage of me dropping these reviews I've done some reviews in the past on phones and the, the, the views were really low so I definitely wanted to uh, get my subscriber count up you know my views which you know essentially will help me also and help you guys as well so the next video on Monday that I'll be dropping could possibly be the um, explanation of which technology is more efficient and better the 4x4 MIMO or three-way carrier aggregation so definitely stay tuned for that I will be doing heavy research this weekend calling a lot of people reading tech blogs so definitely stay tuned and this is Tyrone with Tech Life and uh, before I go I want to shout out my new subscribers I appreciate the support like share and subscribe and this is Tyrone with Tech Life I'll see y'all in the next video peace